experience is supposed to be a very happy one, a very rewarding one for them. So yes, we do pay attention. If they're, you know, not 100% happy, we definitely look into that. Okay, and to come back to my previous question was about the behavior. How do you do check the behavior while you are doing the screening for the students you're gonna choose? For the yes, program? right. One way for me to check their behavior is on the report card because I have online access to view their grades. And I also talk once a month or more to the school counselor just to find out if is the student arriving to school on time? Is the student turning in their homework? Is their student being respectful to the teachers? So every month I have to ask those questions to the school counselor. And of course, I ask the host parents the same question. Is the student helping with the chores that they have? Is the student being respectful? Are they, you know, getting along well with their host family, the brother and the sister in the house? And um, basically that's how I check in. And I also ask the student themselves, how are you doing? What's happening? What have you done that's new? Can you share it with me? How, how are you feeling, you know? Okay. So once a month or more, I do engage with, with the family, the student, and the council from school. Okay. It's, it's, it leads to my next question, which was, uh, how do you target your family, the host family? How, is, how do you choose which one gonna be a perfect fit with this kid you have, yeah. you already screen, and you know it's a good fit. How do you know this family could be a good fit? Is it more like right. a meeting with the, the, the the kid in that family or is it more like the mom host or what how does it work how do you make the matchmaker in this situation yes during the application program when the host family is filling out the online application i will ask them can you please share with me what are some of your hobbies activities interests that you and your family have so for example if the family is into soccer or basketball football movies art theater I take that into consideration when I'm looking to match them with the student that's in our program because every student in our program also completes an application and in their application, they have to tell us the same thing. They have to tell us what they like, what hobbies. They also have to tell us what they would not like. For example, some students would not like to live with a family that smokes cigarette, for example. So we do take families from all walks of life, all shapes, all colors, we do not discriminate. Um, we have families that have mother and father or just single mother or single father. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> also, um, excuse me, same sex couples, empty nesters. Could we take a little pause? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> My apologies. Okay. So basically, as I was saying, we do not discriminate. And the only thing that uh, the, when the family completes the application, they're also filling out a back, criminal background check online. So we check to see if they have a police record. And of course, we would not place our student with them, <coughs> with, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with a family that has a police record. If the family is getting government assistance for food stamps and things of that nature, we do not place our student either with a family that's on government assistance. So basically you can be any family, you could be a single person with no kids. As long as you have not had a criminal history and you're not on government assistance, you can be in our program. Cool. Is there any case where you have returning families, like host families coming back and willing to get more kids? Would you repeat that, please? Did you have any returning families, I mean families who already hosted kids and decided to come back and host another time? Did they oh, okay, before? yes. That's, that's very popular with us. Once you have hosted one time and you had a favorable experience, you definitely open your home again and you want a, a, another student normally from another country because you want to bring different cultures into your house that reminds me that we also have something called welcome families a welcome family is a family 
that will host the student for a very <coughs> limited time, for example, for a week or for a few days. Why would we want a welcome family? Because the normal host family may have to be on a little vacation or maybe they had a little family emergency, the mother is sick or something, and at that moment they can't take care of the student. So that's when we temporarily will place the student with one of our welcome families and we try <clears throat> for those welcome families to be in the same city so that the school doesn't have to change so excuse me so that the student doesn't have to change schools okay. Okay. Uh, do you have a special program or something about the cultural to avoid the cultural clash do you have something like i don't know a meeting or something to prepare the kids to the new culture like to be prepared for halloween or christmas or something that's specific to the U.S. they don't have at home? Um, basically, they're coming here and they're learning little by little every day. We encourage them to have friends in school. We encourage them to participate in extracurricular activities at school, sports at school, because the more friends that they have, the more experiences they're going to have. So, for example, if Halloween is coming up or Valentine's Day or any holiday, the host family, their friends, they will explain to them, you know, what it's all about. If there's a costume involved, if there's a party involved, they will be learning, you know, day by day all about it. They'll also be learning about it in school. I think it would be nice to have pictures of those like Halloween costume or something to feature that part. Yes, our website has all those pictures available. You can uh, go to www. <coughs> icesusa.org and you can find some photos there and also on Facebook. Every state in the United States ha on Facebook has a Facebook page. So for example, on the Florida Youth ICS page, you will find photos of Florida students. Okay. And how do you process? How, let's say I'm a family and I want to host a kid. How do I do it? Okay, yes. I, once you have told me that you're interested in hosting, I will email you a online application. You will log into the website with the user ID and password, and you will fill out an online application providing information about everybody that lives in your home, your, your home address, your phone number. There you will also list <clears throat> some of your hobbies, your activities, things that you like. <clears throat> You'll answer some questions. You'll also provide three references of three people that I can call, whether they be your it's fourteen co hours, your coworkers, <laughs> or a best friend that I can talk to to find out information about you. Um, part of the process is that you will click on a link to answer some questions that have to deal with the background check, with the back, criminal background check, and anyone that is eighteen years old or older living in the home has to pass the background check. There's also a, <clears throat> a home visit involved where a local coordinator like myself, we go to your home and we inspect the house. And what we're looking for is <clears throat> basically to make sure that the home is safe, that the home is clean. The home doesn't need to be spotless, like, you know, uh, something that you're find something like a, perfect home no we're just looking to make sure that everything is safe for the for the student so an online application a background check a home visit three references and signing some papers that's basically the application and where to, where where how to contact you where to find that application form yes you can email me at uh, j bell hyphen willock at icsusa.org or you can go to my facebook page which is called be a hero host an international student and um definitely reach out to me anyone that's interested in information just because you contact me doesn't mean you're automatically going to host a student absolutely not you can contact me just to get information 
so, so that I can answer any questions that you have. And I assume you're gonna show us how to do it, how to go through the application process online. Absolutely, I can guide you to that and show you exactly. It's very simple, you click on a link, the application will open, <laughs> the application will have several tabs and you'll answer the questions on the tab and you hit submit and you submit your application. Awesome, thank you Jackie for being with us. You're very welcome, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure, have a great day. Would you like some information? Sure, let me have some information and that's how I do my recruiting. Okay. And do my recruiting just like we're doing right now. <laughs> with your help that i hope a lot of your viewers today will get excited and will when the viewers go to meet you or talk to you if they're interested yes they can send an email to me to j bell hyphen willock at ices usa.org they can also go to my facebook page which is be a hero host an international student, you can private message me there and I'll get right back to you. So you always answer to all messages you receive? Absolutely, 100%. If I don't answer it right away, at least by the next business day, I definitely will. And I'm very excited that from this interview, some of you viewers will be contacting me very soon. For sure. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Jackie. And how do you proceed regarding the file? Because you mentioned earlier about a form to fill in. Uh, could you tell us more about that form? Yes, absolutely. So let's suppose that uh, one of your viewers saw this interview on YouTube and they sent an email to me or they contacted me on Facebook and said, hey, Jackie, I, I saw your interview and it, can you send me information? So the first thing that I'll do is I'll send you an email that will have basic information. It'll include the website to the company, and there you can go and look for yourself for testimonials, frequently asked questions. You can even look at some of our students online on the website. You can do that. You can select by, if you want to see only students from a particular country, if you want to see only boys or only girls, you put in your criteria and on our website, it'll show you some of our students. It will show you the flag. You will not see the face of the student because they are minors and we're not allowed to show their face. But once you have passed the application process and the background check, absolutely you can see their face and their videos and talk to them and everything when you have selected your student. So there you go. Um, when, uh, as part of the online application, it's very simple. You will have a link in my email that will take you to a website where you will register with a user ID and password. And when you're in there, you're gonna see some tabs and you're gonna click one tab at a time and answer questions. For example, tab number one will ask you, what is your name? What is your home address? Who lives in the house? What are some of your hobbies? That type of information. Tab number two, you're gonna click a link that will take you to the criminal background check. And there you'll answer some questions as well. Tab number three will ask you to tell us some of the rules that you want to have in, your, in the house for your student. For example, you might want for the student to not ever leave the house past a certain time, maybe nine o'clock at night or 10 o'clock on the weekend, something like that. So you tell us on that page, what are some of your rules that you would like your student to follow? And uh, one of the other tabs is where you give me your three references of three people that I can contact. Another tab is where when I do the home visit to look at your house to make sure it's safe and clean, I will be taking some pictures and uploading those pictures there only for the students that you select so that their natural parent can go into that same website to see the home of where their child will be living. So basically that is the application process. It's very simple and you hit submit after you've submitted all your, your uh, answers to all the questions and 